Hello everyone, welcome to the video. If this is your first time on my channel, welcome. I've been sharing a lot about Whistler and moving to Canada because that's exactly what I did last year in November. So I feel more qualified to be sharing some information now that I have actually been here, done that, and I just want to get as much um, of my experience onto the internet so that I can help more people because when I was planning to come here, that's all I wanted to do and all I wanted to see was like stuff about moving here and any just information that I could. So that's what I want to do for you guys. Welcome to my bedroom. Um, if you've watched any previous videos, you might recognize this exact day because I'm filming a lot today. Um, it's not very often that I have free time to be able to talk because I'm always busy. I'm just trying to live my best life. So um yeah i just thought today would be a great day to get a lot of talking to you guys done i will be sharing some clips along the way i'm guessing here i'm not really sure maybe let me slide you over we'll just see what happens i am currently filming on my phone and editing on my phone because my mac broke and i'm poor i also bought a car so i'm like double double poor so i'm sorry for how my editing skills are playing out but it is what it is and we're just this is like whistle life you just gotta you just gotta roll with it so um as you can tell from the title this is my advice to you for your upcoming winter season um i have almost finished my winter season it's technically spring now um, but i'm still in my same contract so my contract was from like november to may and it's late april now so like i've really gone through it it's actually crazy because we always knew that we were going to stay for more than a season so it didn't really feel like so momentous when is that the right word when winter was coming to an end we were like yeah it's fine but now that it's actually coming to an end i'm like holy shit um it went really really fast like really fast and i kind of wish i savored more of it which i i know i'm, I'm doing my best but it actually flies by um a quick rundown of my season, especially if it had been my only season. I was sick for like the first four weeks, which I was still okay, but I couldn't really do much. And I, you know, when you're sick and you're like, I'll just spend the night in bed and then I'll be better. I did that like every night for like four weeks. I lost my voice for at least a month and it was not really a good time. Um, I made the most of it because it was Christmas and whatever. Or coming up to Christmas but it was really hard and everyone else had the same thing everyone got really really sick when we first got here I don't know if it wasn't COVID but it was just like we were just all spreading our nasty germs to everyone so it was a really hard time for a lot of people and then um, I got better and we had Christmas and New Year's and then I broke my wrist um so that was like kind of a sad time I tried not to be too sad but it was like it was pretty sad and again a lot of people have the same thing happen um, I know plenty of people that have been hurt uh, some longer than me, some, yeah, some worse, some not as bad, but a lot, I know a lot of people that got hurt. Uh, so that puts a little damper on things, but we made the, the most of it. I didn't bore during that time, obviously, because I was just a beginner and I was like, well, you know, I'm not going to be able to go on the mountain like that. Couldn't hold, I couldn't hold anything with my arm. Um, I got my cast off and I had gone boarding again, but I'm, I'm just not, I'm not there, I'm not, I'm not in it, so I've gone a couple of times, but it's not been great, and which is kind of a little bit sad, but I can't get too hung up on that, because I'll just be sad forever, and we don't want that, we don't want to be sad, we're here in the best place in the world, so that's kind of been my season, while everyone does have the time of their lives, time of their lives, and the time of my lives, my lives, my life, I've had the time of my life, obviously it's not or sunshine and rainbow all the time. It is still real life. And any thing that you thought you could be maybe leaving behind when you come here, you're still going to carry some of that stuff with you. Um, you know, people still have issues and people still have gut issues and people still have get sick. And like, there's still many things that go on here, even though it looks like the most perfect place in the world. Um, so that's what I want to prepare you for. I'm going to get real like deep and like serious here. I think my number one thing that I've been thinking the last few days for people that, my advice for people that are coming here just for a season, 
or even maybe not just for a season, just whatever, they're just coming here. It is like super important that you have the mindset of like, this is my only season here. Because if you think that, you're going to be much more open to trying new things, to making the most of each day, to like enjoying each day and just being grateful for everything that comes. Because if you think you've got more coming, it's like you kind of just don't really appreciate it as much as you should. Like, especially when people are about to leave in the last few weeks, you really appreciate things like so much more. So just pretend like you're leaving soon. Like you uh, just be so grateful for everything and you'll see the light and everything and the fun and everything. And you won't think, think, you won't take things so seriously. And I kind of wish I had done that. I wish I had done more things. Obviously, there's always more time and I'm still grateful for my time here, but I do wish I had done more. And I obviously, I'm a little bit older, so like there's that. But if you're a young person coming here and I don't know what, I'm just like tidying my room while doing a video. Um, if you're a young person coming here, my advice to you is like, definitely do not worry about money, okay? Whatever money you've got, just try and have as much money as you can. But if you're staying for just a season, if there's anything that comes up, you've got to do it. Like, you've got to make the most of it. The money, the money will come back to you in later in life. Money does not matter at all. If I could tell my younger self that, I would say, just spend the money. Who cares? Like, you can have savings any time in your life. If you're going back to, like, uni or live with your parents or whatever, it doesn't matter. As long as you've got something, you know, you're not going to be homeless when you get home hopefully not I don't I'm not saying go spend all your money and be homeless but I'm just saying like if an opportunity comes up where you're like oh I don't know if I should spend it just do it because we I know a bunch of people that went um heli skiing and it was a lot of money but it was like the best experience of their life and I want you to have your the best experiences of your life so far so um that's my advice definitely definitely make the most of the opportunities that arise and on that note of saying yes to things it is a very social place here in, in a ski resort. And there's like, even if you think that you're not a very social person, you will not be able to help but be social. And there's going to be things coming up all the time. And I mean all the time. I mean every single night. So while it's important to say yes to opportunities, I think it's really important that you set some boundaries for yourself and know that you will not be able to say yes to everything. If you're working full time and going out every night you're not going to be like your best self and you're not going to be able to say yes to important opportunities when they arise uh because you'll be too hungover and too sick and too tired so it's important that you pick things wisely i've seen people um take turns over the season we all start on a high and then we get sick and then we get um then we go out a lot and we're hung over a lot and then there was like a lot of low times for people and it usually came all at once everyone was feeling the same then we were a little bit better and it's like been a bit of a roller coaster in that sense and I don't think that we can avoid that like even I'm quite a sensible person and even I can't avoid that but um it's something to definitely look out for and once you get here and you see how life is going I think then it's important to start setting some boundaries on like okay I'm not going to go out till 3 a.m or I'm not going to drink 20 drinks like setting yourself some um good rules especially on a work night like if you have work night rules i think that'll like really really change your life and change how your mood is because yeah it's sad seeing people so sad but then it's like you want to go have fun like i get that you want to go have fun and i want to go have fun too but especially when like we're just sick all the time it's actually crazy um but i'm not trying to like put a down on it it is so fun get, getting to hang out with everyone but like I said you know if you're you can't be your best self when you're partying every night so you need to choose wisely and speaking of that like it's awesome to socialize with your friends and it's awesome to go out drinking and get drunk and have fun I get that but it's also like actually more fun maybe not more fun it's just a different kind of fun when you go do wholesome activities with your friends like if I was you I would and I have done this I would put a bucket list together of all the fun things that you want to do through the season and like make plans to do them with your friends because they're the memories that you're going to hold on to and you're going to keep and you're going to remember is those fun nights you had or fun days you had where you went and did something fun you've never done before when you went ice skating or when you went boarding or when you went to a lake or all these fun things um 
that possibly don't involve drinking, if you have a plan to do these fun things, you're going to look back and be like, oh my God, that was like the best time of my life. Like you honestly will. Like I've been doing a cold plunge and it's just like the craziest shit of my life. And I can't wait to see summer and be like hiking and swimming and doing fun stuff. Cause like that's way more fun than drinking. Like way more fun. Do wholesome things. Do wholesome things. That's the most important thing. Like, get wholesome. And especially, yeah, I don't know. Like you see, I'm just lighting up just... You already make like such weird connections with people and then when you go do fun stuff like that it just like makes you feel so much happier like honestly the key to fucking happiness is emotional connection and while you can form those connections through alcohol it's just like you're gonna have everlasting friendships when you go do crazy shit with them so that's my advice to you honestly like be prepared that was probably something I wasn't prepared for is like, especially you have, if you have a good, um, depending on where you work, I don't know, you might, some jobs aren't like as big a family as mine are, but like I work with, you know, 40 to 50 people and we have a big family and I was not expecting to feel this close and this um, connected to these random people from all over the world. And it's the craziest feeling. And I just, think, I've said this before, but definitely like, open yourself up to new people and take chances with people and try and build connections with people it'll happen anyway but like honestly put yourself out there and like do nice things for people and be extra polite to people and you know look out for each other because you know you're all in the same situation you all came here on your own like mostly on your own you did something really crazy and now you're all reaping the rewards and it's a cool feeling to share that with someone and yeah, it's awesome. Um, what else? Something like it's also serious, I guess, is don't stress too much about what you bring here. You can buy everything when you're here. If you work for the mountain, you get a discount anyway. I bought a beautiful new jacket when I got here um, for like $200 and it's been the best jacket of my life. And then we also went to reuse it, which is like a super cheap place and bought like snow pants for $10 and they've lasted me all season. So there's definitely like, there's cheap things and expensive things that you can buy here that are both better if you buy it here and you can wait and see what you actually need and you might you don't want to buy something back home and then get here and be like dude that jacket's sick like i should have waited so definitely just wait um and my final thing that i'm always going to go back to is like buy some ice cleats it's going to get icy and we physically can't walk in the ice and it's you feel like a superman when you have ice cleats on and if i was wearing ice cleats um the night that i broke my wrist i wouldn't have and i would have been a superb boarder by now but instead i'm not so my advice to you is to go buy some ice cleats maybe when you get here but you can buy everything on amazon it's totally fine um yeah i think that's that was fun that was good i was like really serious and then i got really happy there so i'm glad that it's like come full circle and you can see that like even though i'm like getting serious with you like i'm being like a bit of a mom i'm like but also it's like it's gonna be the best time of your life well that's not very good it's gonna be the best time of your life and you're gonna just it's just gonna be great but you need to be prepared so that's why i'm here um i hope you enjoyed the video and i look forward to seeing y'all again if you want to like keep more up to date um, I share everything on Instagram and Instagram is the place to be. So yeah, all the best. I will see you in Canada.